hi guys welcome back to a brand new video in this video we'll be making this slice animation in after effects uh, using only the uh, native effects and things like that so uh, just like before we are uh, creating a composition like always with a five second duration and if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please subscribe and uh, turn on the notification uh, so that we can start with the uh, our text uh, we are creating a text called slice here you can ch select any font or anything you want after that you can just simply reset the power point uh, and uh, you can align it to the uh, center of the composition and uh, the next thing is we have to like here i am rotating uh, the text a little bit uh, it's actually part of the design only it's not uh, not actually necessary you can actually align it any way you want uh, uh, nothing will be uh, affecting our design or anything like that so here i uh, changed the size and uh, rotated the text a little bit and i aligned everything properly also so the next thing is we have to start uh, uh, masking our text layer and we'll be separating the top part and the bottom part separately so that we can animate the slicing later on so i selected the pen tool and i'm uh, masking out the top part of our text layer uh, so uh, here you can uh, just make sure that uh, you know uh, when you are cutting uh, make sure that it's a proper cut and you are not leaving any small pieces or anything like that and uh, uh, other than that you can just uh, cut however you want it's actually your design and uh, you can do it however you want and after uh, you made a mask uh, you can just simply duplicate the text layer and either you can just uh, invert the mask or you can just you know uh, realign the mask points uh, so it will uh, show up the uh, the bottom part will be showing up here instead of inverting i am just you know moving uh, the mask points so we have a top part and a bottom part so this will be our slice and after that if you are seeing any uh, sort of like cutting lines or anything like that you can just align uh, this yeah, either one of the top part or bottom part and you can just move it around and that's uh, slicing uh, line will be disappeared so once that is done uh, the next thing is we have to start uh, you know creating the animation itself so we'll move it to maybe one or two seconds and we'll select both the layers and we'll add a position keyframe and uh, after that we can just move uh, maybe 20 or 30 frames and we'll just slightly move both of these layers uh, a little bit and uh, you know uh, showing that it's actually uh, sliced up so uh, straight away we can see that uh, uh, the single text is actually uh, cutting and uh, you know separating itself after that you can just select uh, f9 selecting the keyframe and you can just press f9 to add some ease and you can go to graph editor and add in a little bit of uh, extra ease in to make it a bit more you know popping uh, kind of animation so uh, uh, this is our main slice animation and uh, you can uh, experiment with the easing value and things like that here i am just uh, changing the easing uh, here and there so we'll get a you know much more you know impactful output uh, so a sudden split is uh, what i am trying to achieve so uh, like I said, you have to experiment with the graph editor uh, and uh, you'll be able to uh, achieve a perfect result what you are looking for. So for the time being, I'm just uh, keeping that uh, animation itself. The next thing is uh, we have to create the line, uh, the splitting uh, uh, effect. So in order to do that, I'm just hiding one of the layers. So we have a reference uh, where to draw the line. After that, I'm just uh, drawing a line uh, and uh, matching with that, you know, slides, uh, slicing of uh, of that uh, layer. And after that, you can just select any colors you want. I'm just uh, uh, going with, you know, blue, green kind of tint and uh, just, uh, you know, increasing that uh, stroke width as well. And after that, you can just align uh, that with our text layer. So, uh, straight away we have uh, our uh, line the next thing is we have to you know uh, start animating the line as well 
and uh, it should match with our animation as well so here uh, what we are going to do is we are going to you know uh, come maybe five or ten uh, maybe five or six frames uh, before the start of our text animation and uh, uh, we'll just um, add some trim path animation and uh, we'll match it with our uh, text animation as well and uh, make sure that you are uh, naming your layers as well here i name the layer as slice effect and after that i can just uh, you know go to stroke uh, width and all i'm just making it uh, around uh, the corners and uh, points i'm just making it round so the edges will be rounded uh, rather than a you know uh, sharp cut and then i'm adding a little bit of tapering uh, to the layer so you know when it's moving uh, we have uh, uh, that kind of you know uh, the tail of that effect will be thinner and the head will be thicker that kind of effect uh, what we are actually looking for so after that when we start animating that effect will be already applied and uh, the animation will look uh, much better after that we can just uh, uh, go to effects and preset uh, panel and we'll be adding a glowing uh, effect onto that particular uh, effect so we can just uh, type in the glow in the effects and preset panel and we'll drag and drop it onto our line after that we can just uh, you can just adjust uh, with all this uh, you know glow radius threshold and things like that and uh, if you want to make the glow a little bit more you know prominent you can just duplicate uh, the glow effect uh, you know as many times as you want and you can just one of the glow you can just make it a bit sharper and one of them you can make it like much more wider so it will have a you know a really interesting glowing effect as well after that we can just go to uh, the add menu and we'll add a trim path effect onto that layer and uh, in the beginning uh, star end value will keep it at zero and uh, after that we'll add a keyframe for that uh, end value then we'll jump to maybe 10 20 frames Uh, uh, when you uh, moving uh, to a particular frame make sure it's matching with uh, uh, the text layer as well and after that uh, you can just add the start value in between as well so uh, the uh, line will be starting and uh, when it's actually almost halfway around uh, the end value will start animating and uh, the line will be start disappearing as well so it uh, looks more like you know uh, a laser effect and uh, uh, a bullet uh, kind of effect and then easing you can actually match with the text layer and uh, uh, you can uh, like experiment with the timing and things like that and make sure it's looking nice so straight away you can see that uh, it's actually looking uh, much better uh, than adding that effect uh, straight away we are able to uh, see the result and it's actually looking really interesting and after that like i said uh, you can experiment with the timing and things like that you know uh, if it's you know uh, by the time the effects is moving the uh, text needs to be cut and uh, you know things like that so uh, here i'm just uh, experiment with the timing and uh, matching the animation of both the text as well as the effect as well and uh, uh, move around and uh, you know experiment these values the timing and the timing of the keyframe using all these things until you get uh, the desired result what you are looking for so here i am uh, approaching that uh, output value that what i am looking for and uh, i am almost uh, completed that particular area after that you can just uh, you know in between don't forget to save your file uh, here i am just uh, saving the file as well the next thing is we have to add some extra effects uh, as well uh, for our animation so uh, we'll just uh, go with the pen tool and uh, so the next thing is we are going to add a, a bit of a shadow for the bottom piece uh, that actually been cut off so uh, in order to add the uh, shadow 
I'm just creating a separate layer shape uh, with a dark uh, gray color and added uh, fast boost blur and uh, I'm just blurring it after that you can just place it just above the text and uh, you can just turn on the track matte effect so the tech, uh, the shadow will only be uh, visible inside that bottom text and after that you can just reduce the opacity or uh, uh, you know change the color whichever one is uh, you know easier for you and uh, uh, after that we have to timing uh, that effect as well so once that uh, shape is actually cut off then only the shadow will be appearing uh, because uh, the shadow is actually coming from the top uh, most piece so we have to you know uh, arrange it like that so once that piece is cut off or that effect uh, otherwise the effect will not be uh, looking very good so the timing uh, everything you have to uh, uh, like align it everything perfectly so uh, when you add that shadow as well uh, you can actually uh, add in a bit of opacity as well to you know is uh, that uh, you can smooth out uh, that animation of that shadow as well. So when you started adding that uh, shadow effect, it's actually giving much more impact on uh, the slice animation. And uh, once you are happy with that shadow effect, uh, you can just move on to uh, the next part of our process. The next part is uh, we have to add some extra animations here. So the point uh, we are uh, cutting that uh, text layer will be adding a bit of uh, trim path effect as well. So I am selecting that uh, pen tool and adding some you know simple smaller lines uh, at the corner of our uh, cutting uh, where the cut is actually starting and uh, uh, after that uh, just like before I am going to add uh, uh, that top. Uh, I'm going to round out the edges as well as adding some tapering effect so you know uh, it will look uh, much more better compared to you know a normal same thickness line so uh, like I said uh, you can uh, these are all optional I'm just creating these effects so it will give more impact on that animation uh, and things like that uh, you can just experiment with the different kind of effect however you want and uh, uh, when you are uh, happy with that effect you can just move on to the next part here just like before I am just uh, experimenting with the end and the start value of the trim path so uh, once the animation starts uh, halfway around uh, the uh, the line will be start disappearing as well after that I uh, will just add some easing and uh, you know make the easing a bit more sharper uh, and uh, that way it will uh, match with the entire uh, animation of our slicing text and effect animation so it will be much more uh, uh, you know interesting to look at so uh, just like before you have to time in uh, properly uh, add the timing for the animation uh, the moment uh, that it's cut or uh, you know uh, cutting uh, it should uh, the effect also should start because it's uh, what I am uh, going for is uh, like a little spark uh, when you actually uh, you know cutting something you know a small piece or spark kind of things will be uh, slicing off that object uh, where you are cutting so that kind of effect I am looking for uh, and uh, so the timing is actually really important you can re rearrange the timing keyframes as well as the position of the layer uh, so uh, it will match with the animation much more perfectly and that will look much more interesting and once you are happy with that effect uh, you can just uh, duplicate it and uh, you know rotate it to the opposite side so we have an effect uh, coming uh, at the both of the ends uh, that line is actually splitting and uh, at the both of the end uh, we'll have that extra animation as well so it will give much more impact these are all minor things but it will give more impact and you know interesting effect uh, to your animation so after that uh, just like before we can add some you know uh, glowing effect onto that and uh, just like before one of the glow will make it you know uh, spread a little more and uh, the other one will make it a bit sharper so our glow will be uh, looking much more interesting so uh, uh, after that uh, you can just duplicate this uh, effect and you know uh, add in wherever you want uh, if you want to add it to every single letter you can do that as well 
so uh, like when you are adding this kind of effect uh, make sure it's not too much you have to you know go with a minimal effect so then only it will have that uh, impact what you are looking for otherwise you may not uh, get uh, the result what you are looking for instead you will get a lot of uh, unnecessary animation all over so uh, here i'm just uh, you know changing the colors and experimenting with that colors as well so uh, when you have multiple colors and uh, you know uh, that way uh, people will notice that smaller effect much more prominent when you are actually adding a an extra or popping uh, kind of color so with that uh, almost our animation process is actually completed i'm just duplicating that same effect and adding it at the last of our letter as well so we'll have that effect at the beginning as well as at the end so with that uh, we just completed our slice animation uh, cutting animation i hope you guys all uh, like the video and uh, if you uh, want to see similar videos uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, turn on the notification as well and if you like the video uh, please uh, like uh, like the video as well as uh, share the video with your friends so i'll see you guys in the next video